All right, boys and germs, welcome to week two of Jacked and Juicy. And this is gonna be the workout or the, the training plan brief. Now, as always, this is a free program. This is week number two. If you know people that are super keen on it, send them whatever a link, let them know, share this post, um, share this going on. Also, I'm sending now this program out via PDF. So if you're keen to get this program via the PDF, DM me or send me in a private message your email address. And once I get it, I can put it into our list and um, on, on a Monday morning, a Sunday night, Monday morning, you'll receive this via email so you don't have to keep looking back at, the, at your Instagram or have to, uh, to say a photo. So you get a nice PDF kind of typed out, a little bit more explanation and stuff like that in there. So if you're keen, to get this via the PDF, send me your email address. Just private uh, message me your email address. All right, without further ado, this is week number two of Jacked and Juicy. Day number one is pretty much going to be all chest day. Um, Monday is International Chest Day anyway, so fucking happy days. So first thing here is five rounds, dumbbell bench press. You're going to do 12 reps straight into a drop set. So working pretty heavy, working up to a weight that, you know, on that those 12 reps, like the last couple of reps, you're getting to failure. Again, time under tension, failure of the muscle is what we're looking for. And then dropping down to a lighter weight and just repping it out, all right? That's your first session, there's five rounds of that. Second thing will be a four round superset. Working on an incline bench, if you don't have an incline bench, uh, put some plates under a flat bench, jack it up for yourself. Do 15 incline dumbbell bench press, so upper chest are trying to hit into max incline flies. So again, dropping the weight down, going for flies straight afterwards, getting the stretch through the pecs. And then the finisher will be 100 tricep overhead extensions. So use a band connected to a ray, overhead extensions, that's what we're looking for, into 100 dumbbell floor, floor press. If you've done all this right, this is gonna be fucking hard to get through. All right, you don't need to go mad heavy with that one. Day number two is all about the booty. All right, so building the booty, fucking getting the hamstrings and the glutes going. Um, and and, and it's, listen, it's important for males and females to build booty. Um, it's your power muscles, simple as. And it fucking looks good. That's all I'll say, all right? So starting off, we're gonna go five rounds of the Dimmel deadlift. Dimmel deadlift is very similar to an RDL, just um, straight leg, um, almost a straight leg uh, deadlifter. Yeah, Romanian deadlift, fucking losing me words. Um, the idea and the focus should be on the hamstrings and the glutes. Create and build, create and tension there. Eight reps, going heavy, five rounds of heavy weight. Then, barbell, glute bridges. Everyone's favorite. The most popular booty building exercise in the world. Everyone's doing them at the moment, everyone. So, so are we. Uh, we're gonna do four rounds of 10 reps, uh, working heavy. And then, the AMRAP or the finisher at the end is 12 minutes. Do a one minute wall sit straight into 20 walking lunges. You're gonna need a little bit of a breather after that, uh, but aim to get four to five rounds if you can in the AMRAP, okay? Day three, let's shovel over here. Day number three, what are we doing on day three? Back, yes, it's mostly back that we're doing on day three. So, five round, SS stands for superset. You'll start to get my, I'm gonna abbreviate a lot of the lingo as we go through. 10 barbell rows into straight arm push downs. So with a, a cable machine or with bands, whatever it is, straight arm push down, hitting those lats as hard as possible. Then second exercise, four rounds of a superset. 12 uh, chest support rows. That's lying on an incline bench. Your chest is supported on the bench and you're rowing those weights back behind. I'll put the camera down. So chest is support on the bench, rowing those weights up towards you. So it's basically, you know, you, you have yourself locked into a solid position. And that's what we're, we're aiming for there. Into max seated row. Sitting on the ground, pulling the weight towards you, whether that's a band or, or using cable machines, it's completely up to you. Whatever you have access to. Um, and the finisher then is 100 tricep pushdowns using the band, 100 rear delt raises hitting the back of the shoulder, and then 50 strict pull-ups. And again, this shit, if you've done everything up here correctly, this is gonna be super hard to get through. It's just about completely getting the last out of the muscles, getting it to the absolute fatigue so we create the maximum build. 
And as you can see, I fucked up the way I wrote the board here. I give all the space to day one, and as I've gone through, I've left myself with absolutely no space on the last day. But anyway, I'll, I'll figure it out for next week. You'll start the fourth day, it's gonna be legs, and a big leg day, we're working um, back squat. Uh, five sets of seven, and that's five working sets of seven heavy reps. Um, then you will go on to three rounds of a superset. 15 Bulgarian split squats, weighted, hold the weight on your chin, or however you wanna hold it, but listen, those 15 reps should fuck you up. Um, and you're gonna do both legs straight into 20 body weight squats. Try not to stop, just body weight up and down, getting the legs burning. And again, you're gonna need a decent rest after each round if you're doing it correctly. Um, and finally, your finisher is uh, 100 goblet squats, holding a heavy weight, heavy, the heaviest kettlebell, heaviest dumbbell you have underneath your chin. Um, every time you stop, you're gonna have to do 10 burpees. Now, pick a, pick a fucking weight that's decent. Don't, if you're able to get through the 100 reps, if you're able to get to like 50 or 60 reps straight through on the, uh, on the first attempt, that weight wasn't good enough, all right? I, I want to, I want to like see you having to struggle through this. You should be doing burpees three or four times. Um, with the weight you've chosen. So whether it's a dumbbell, even a fucking barbell, if you don't have a, a heavy dumbbell, just fucking rack the barbell and just do front squats um, and try and get to 100. And see how you go. At the end of the day, the name of the game is um, creating muscle fatigue or metabolic stress in the muscles um, to create build. Um, and that's what this stuff will help you to do. There's only three things on most days, but if you put in the correct intensity into each round at each set, this stuff is all you need. All right, so you work hard on each and every set, take two to three minutes rest, then go again. Don't rest for fucking ages, um, but enough rest that allows you to give 110% in your next set. All right, and as I said, if you wanna get this via PDF or you're, you wanna get your friends involved, send me your email address um, and I'll get you on the list and you'll receive this each week uh, for the next, well, we have five weeks left. Giddy up, checked and juicy.